vortex going on. <laughs> That's almost a curse of too many birds right there. This is what duck hunting is all about right here. what we do to get back into some of our spots. Do a little bit of bridge work. These guys had it all figured out ahead of time, so it makes it pretty easy. Got back in here to the X. We're here, we're gonna get an afternoon hunt in. Stay tuned. Wanna grab it from further away so you, you don't mess up your cover around your blind. Yeah, we're gonna get corn in real good here. By the way, to be on TV, you gotta have a little bit of a southern draw. You can edit that out. Obviously, there's a ton of food here, but these picked cornfields, if you look around on the ground, there's a ton of ground cover. It's way easier to hide in a field like this than it is, say, if this was chopped for silage. Primo location. These guys did an awesome job finding this and finding birds. Birds are gonna dump off just like this, guys. Gonna come right off into here. Nice teardrop shape. So the birds hopefully will be landing in our faces. Birds were in here about four o'clock yesterday. So it's 3.22. We have a little bit of time to kind of settle in, get our wits about us and start killing some green. Look at the feathers. <laughs> Look at this. Got all of that one. Yes, sir. This is what you're looking for with a pattern. Look at the head shoot them. This one kind of got busted right in the face. Multiple hits. Get them in the decoys, shoot them in the face. More to come. That's better. Absolutely wrecked. <laughs> wrecked those widgeons, man. Yeah, we're doing it. Oh, here comes our friends. It is 447. We'll dark for 447. We're gonna have a little wad on our left here. This is duck hunting. We got another wad coming in on us. I don't know how many we have, but we're close. Two more? Two more? All right, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> oh. Nice shot. Nice shot. Done. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I haven't seen that many mallards in a long time. There were times there were almost too many birds. We'd get one bunch working and another bunch would collide with them. We had literally at one point we had a vortex of mallards going. It was unreal. You don't get hunts like that all the time and this was a special one, so love it. So today's a little bit different. 
We're in a different part of the field. Weather has changed. A little more wind today, which makes, makes it a little harder for the birds to decoy, but could make our shooting a lot better. Same, and there's a third one out there too, so. So we're trying to shoot all green heads, like we did the other night. And because we've got overcast, the light's a little bit flat and it's making it hard to pick out drakes. We've killed a couple of hens. Still doing a nice job picking out green. Just something that you gotta really pay attention to. Really look for that dark chest, contrasted with that light colored belly. Really try to hone in on those green heads. We're down to four Drake Mallards. It's been a really good shoot so far. It's absolutely incredible. You guys have turned into a bunch of lady killers today. What's up with that? It's just really it's tough in, the, in these uh, gray days to see some color. Get one one good shot and they're up in the clouds. I'm trying to, I'm trying to finish up and get, get two birds out of a flock. I think we just need to focus on killing one break out of a flock. And... Day two, and we are done. Actually, we killed a one, two, three, four, five, killed a six, five man, one woman limit. Anytime you can hunt cornfield mallards, it doesn't get any better. Incredible shoot, incredible hunt. This is what wingmen's all about. Thank <laughs> you.